Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to do another video on the challenges I faced with the avocado farming. Last year, I planted around 120 trees, uh, avocado trees, uh, but I didn't know what I'll face uh, towards the end of the year. So after I planted the avocados, I posted that video uh, late last year. Uh, you can see that video on my previous video. I planted these avocados uh, well and uh, I irrigated them and uh, I, I devised an uh, irrigation plan. I don't have a drip irrigation but uh, I use the manual method of irrigating the, the avocado trees. So later, later during that year, uh, later during the, uh, the year, last year and uh, during April this year, uh, we faced a uh, frost uh, which, which came and uh, destroyed a lot of our avocado trees. So out of, our 100, uh, our, uh, out of 120 trees, uh, the frostbite destroyed almost uh, 80 trees and we were left with 40. Uh, as, uh, as many people say, uh, uh, agriculture is not for the faint-hearted. I lost a lot of trees. That was a very, very big loss. Considering this, uh, these avocado trees, I ferried them uh, like a hundred kilometers from where my farm is. So it, there were a lot of losses. Uh, the care I've given to the trees for that whole year was a lot of care and it costed me a lot of money. So when the frost came, it destroyed a lot of trees and I have to and uh, I went to, uh, again to the to the nursery man and buy another batch of fresh avocados, fresh avocado seedlings and replant them. As you can see, this is a way that I learned from another farmer. Uh, after, after, after the frost destroyed the, the avocado trees, I went to do research to see how other farmers are doing to protect the avocado trees from frost. And I discovered one of the farmers who was very successful there over the frost did not hit his avocados at all at all. And he used these, these, these nets. As you can see, these nets that I am using are the ones that are, are, are being used by the greenhouses that uh, plant roses so these are the waste ones that um, after several years they remove them and they sell them at wholesale prices so i went and i bought them and i bought those nets and i came and uh, i i devised this uh, this method of covering them so as, uh, as as explained by that farmer if you use this method uh, the frost doesn't land on your on your avocado tree so you have you avoid the frost bites and hence you avoid the destruction of your avocado trees so i i did the i did i, I did the planting la, last week and uh, i didn't want to take any chances because uh, we are experiencing a very hot weather and uh, during this hot weather is when the, the, those fro frost bites occurs. So I didn't want to take any chance uh, to try uh, to, 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 to wait and then face another another terrible frost bite like the, the one I, I faced earlier this, uh, this year. So uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you are an avocado farmer and you come from a place uh, that is very cold, you might consider using this method. Uh, you, you just have uh, to, 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 to place uh, the, the three sticks, then uh, you, you, you cover it uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with this net. After maybe a year or two, the avocado plant will be, will be good. It will be big enough uh, to, to, to maybe to, to be able to, to overcome the, the frost bites. Uh, there is no other thing that uh, I planned to, to communicate to you through this video that's what that that was all and if you have experienced these frost bites take heart and maybe do it again uh, a lot of farmers around my area like uh, another farmer who had done uh, 12 acres all of all of his avocados were destroyed by the frost bite and uh, uh he didn't go back to the avocado farming he went back and plant uh, cypress trees because uh, because uh, he, the, the losses that he incurred were very very great and he was not able to recover this uh, the, this one are uh, the, the ones that did not uh, face the frostbite as you can see they are a bit bigger they are almost uh, one year uh, after finishing the work as you can see uh, my avocado are, are now they are now well covered and as you as you can also see i also planted maize which is not very advisable to do in a avocado farm but uh, I, I i decided to plant these maize plants uh, to be able to cover these trees against frost so if uh, i hope this video was educative and informative uh, please 
share subscribe and like our videos and i'll see you in the next educational video i'll see you in the next educational video god bless you see you in the next one peace